In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Arello eSIM. I'm going to walk you through this whole process from start to finish. And at the end of the video, you'll have the confidence and the understanding to actually go and do this yourself. So I'm taking a flight very soon to Thailand. So I'm going to get an eSIM for Thailand. I'm going to walk you through this whole thing start to finish. And I'm going to prove that eSIM works at the end of the video once I'm in Thailand. So what you need to do is go to the link in the description to the Aralo website and then go ahead and download their app. So once you've downloaded the app, we can then open it. And once we've got the app open, we can go ahead and view the plans and purchase the one that we need. Once you're inside of the Aralo app, you're going to see a list of popular countries. Now, what you can do is you can choose the country that you want to get the eSIM for. Now, if you're traveling the world, if you're going to visit multiple countries, you can get a global or a regional eSIM. So if you click on regional, say you're traveling Southeast Asia, you can click on Asia and you can then get an eSIM for Asia specifically. Now, most of you, in my opinion, are just going to want to get one country. You're probably going on holiday. So I'm going to actually click on Thailand. And from here, we can see all of the different options that they have. From here, you need to make a choice. Do you just want data or do you want data, calls and text? Now, this is going to be different depending on each individual. But to be honest, if you're just traveling nowadays, pretty much everyone just uses data and messaging apps anyway. So I'm going to go to the app here and we're just going to get some data. So let's go ahead and buy this free gigabyte plan for five pounds. These prices may be different and in a different currency for you. OK, so once you've made that payment, if you open up the app and go to my eSIMs, which is the button in the middle at the bottom, you then see a list of all of your eSIMs. Now, as you can see, we've got the eSIM here. We can go and then click on details and you can see more details about your eSIM, including the countries that it covers. It's also going to tell you that your eSIM can only be installed once. And I would do this, to be honest, before you get into your country on your home Wi-Fi because you are going to need to be on a stable Wi-Fi connection to just make sure that everything can be installed. And then once you're in the country, you can then activate it. So go ahead and click eSIM installation. And here you'll see view instructions. Click on that. And remember, I'm doing this at home on a stable Wi-Fi connection. OK, so we're going to go through this process now. It's going to tell us maintain access to a stable Internet connection. So we'll click next. Do not interrupt the eSIM process. This is very important. It will take maybe one to two minutes to actually install the eSIM. So we'll click next. Do not delete your eSIM. Again, very important because you can only install it once. Click next and then complete all the steps carefully. So you are going to be given three options. You can either directly install the eSIM, which is going to be the first one. The second one is going to be QR code. And then the third one is going to be manual. Now, to be honest, don't mess around with any of the others. Click on direct and there's a button right at the bottom. It says install eSIM. Click on that. It's then going to show you some more instructions. You can then click next, next again and install eSIM. Now allow the new eSIM to be installed. And here you can see it is connecting. You can now see that it has been installed and it is now ready for activation. If you go ahead and click continue, you can then be taken to the next step. We're now going to have the mobile plan labels. So here you've got primary and mobile data. Primary is going to be your SIM card that you've got in your phone. This is just going to be your normal SIM card number. Your Airlo plan will be the second one, which in my case says mobile data. We can change this later, so don't worry. I'm just going to click on continue. And as you can see, we've got the two here. Here we've got iMessages and FaceTime. I'm going to keep this on primary. We can change this later though. And then for mobile data, I'm going to choose primary right now as well, because I can go ahead and switch this over once I land in Thailand. And then make sure you've got allow mobile data switching mode turned off. That way it's not going to try and switch to your other SIM once you've told it to use the eSIM. So when you open up the Aurelo app and you go to my eSIMs, you'll be able to see your eSIM. And if you click on details, you can see that your eSIM will be installed. So if you click on eSIM installation and view instructions, it will now show you that your eSIM has been installed. Now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and access the data and essentially turn the data on. Now again, this is not going to use your data until you step foot in the country that you've selected your eSIM for. Now you could just wait until the night before to do this next step. I'm going to do this right now as I'm flying tonight. 
and I want everything ready to go for when I land. So we could go ahead and show this step-by-step -step guide. Now this is gonna show you everything that you need to do and you can double check this and reference this with my video as well. But here's what you do. You go to settings on your phone. You then need to go to mobile service. Once you're in mobile service, you will then see under Sims, you've got primary, which is gonna be your phone number. And then you've got mobile data, which is going to be your eSIM. Click on your mobile data. And if you wanted to rename it, you can do by clicking on mobile plan label. I'm gonna put custom label and I'll just put here Thailand. Now we know for sure the difference between the two. Now this is already turned on. If you go to network selection, you can see that that will be on automatic. And when you land, it's gonna automatically select the best network in my case in Thailand, to actually use the eSIM. Now the only thing that you need to do now is turn on data roaming. Now I would recommend turning this on as soon as you land, like as soon as you need internet and you need to use your eSIM, turn this on. And then with this turned on, you can go to your personal SIM. As you can see, this is my personal number and you can turn off mobile data roaming. That will just make sure that all the data you're using is coming from the eSIM and not your actual phone's SIM card because you probably will get charged extra if you use data roaming on your SIM card in your home country. Now I'm gonna turn on data roaming when I land in Thailand. I'll set up the camera and I'll show you it all working and I'll give you confidence that you can do this as well. Okay, so we're now in Bangkok. I'm gonna show you now how you can turn the eSIM on. I'm gonna prove that it works, and I'll also show you how you can check your data as well. So what you need to do is go to settings, and then once you're on settings, look for mobile service and click on that. Now you'll probably still have your primary and it might be turned on. If it is turned on, I would recommend you turn it off as quickly as possible because you don't want it obviously to use that data. So I'm gonna turn off this line. This is gonna turn off my primary phone number. Now, if you still wanted to use this phone number, you could keep it turned on, but just simply have it as data roaming turned off. So that is also an option as well. But just for the video tutorial purposes and just to show you that it is the eSIM working, I'm just gonna turn it off completely. Now we'll go to the eSIM, which I've named to Thailand. We can simply turn it on. Once you've got that turned on, go back and then go ahead and click on it again. Then you get all of these options. You wanna make sure you've got data roaming turned on. And then if you go to network selection, it should be on automatic, which is what you're looking for. So now we've got it turned on. Now we can go ahead and turn mobile data to the Thailand eSIM. Then once we've done that, we can go back and it should then now find a network. Now, if you're still having trouble with this and it isn't finding a network automatically, the first thing that I would do, like I'm gonna do right now, is turn your phone off and then on again. If that doesn't work, you can go to network selection and by default, this will be on automatic. If you uncheck this and you might have to wait like a minute or so for all of them to load, you can then choose a network. So I'm just gonna choose AIS and we'll see if we can get a connection. And as you can see, we've got a very small connection to AIS, so that is a good sign. Now, these can sometimes be a bit clunky, but now we've got the connection, it seems we're all connected and ready to go. As you can see, we're not connected to Wi-Fi, so the four bars are our network, right? It is our data. So this is what I would do if you're having trouble. You can switch it back to automatic then once you've got your connection and it should do a good job of picking up some signal. Now, if we go ahead and open up Chrome, I'll just prove that it is working. I'll just go ahead and search for, let's just search Chiang Mai and you can see it's now loading and we're all good to go. Everything is working. Here on the Air Arlo app, we can relaunch it after we've got signal and we can go to My eSIMs and you'll be able to see how much data you've got left by just clicking on details. Here you can see your data and you'll be able to see how long it's valid for and the data you've got left. So I'm gonna leave a link to Eralo in the description below. Click on it, go ahead and download their app and then buy your first eSIM. When you do use it, come back to this video and give your experience with Eralo. And if you've got any questions or comments about the service, put them in the comment section below and I'll try and help you all out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.